Hey guys, I know that uh, it's been a while since I've uh, talked about uh, or posted an update video, so I'm going to do go ahead and do this uh, this update. Uh, I did shoot one a little while ago, but I decided not to post it. Something's changed, and I decided I wanted to hold a little bit more of that information back at this point now so uh, to be announced later. So I have a big uh, announcement coming up. Um, it, I did originally film it in the video that was basically supposed to be this one, but I decided I'm going to wait a little bit longer and be a little bit uh, more uh, strategic with that information. Anyways, so a very big uh, um, um, update coming soon. And I'll talk, a, I'll hint at it a little bit as uh, later on in this video. So uh, 2020 has come to a close. Today is February 5th, 2021. So uh, let me go ahead and recite the plan and what uh, is going on with the Green Engineers um, and what, uh, uh, what our per, uh, trajectory looks like. So uh, again, let me re recite the plan. 2020, the end of 2020, was to finish our production prototypes. I'm not production prototypes. To uh, finish our rough designs of all the different products. Number one is uh, a hot end, 3D printer hot end which we'll talk about later, um, which we'll get to eventually, uh, eventually, and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, then it's the fill, um, the shredder called the Reclaimer. Then we have the Fill Factory, which is our next version of the um, extruder. Then we have our uh, 3D printer, right? And then also we have our open source extruder. Um, that one is uh, the multi-shooter. And yeah, those are our main uh, products and we have completed, we were a little late, I think we were like 15 days into January that we were late on that, but uh, we did get it done. Um, so that was the production, pro uh, the, um, the rough concept uh, designs, the CAD models for those guys. So now 2021 is basically to finalize those designs and have production prototypes completed. So basically 2021 is all on um, design, uh, is all in testing and um, finalizing these products. So obviously that's a lot of products there. So we're going, quite, uh, actually it's been kind of slow because again, we were a couple days behind. We're still getting back into the groove and we're still in quarantine as you know from COVID, so me and Kevin still are not really meeting up, and I have a lot of other things going on on the side, so I'll talk about that um, at some point in this course of what that's, what that's, what that is. So uh, that was one of the reasons why I don't have any content to kind of share with you guys right now, physical videos of stuff, is because of the surprise that I'm going to hint at later on. Uh, that's been taking a lot of time, and also... Uh, mainly, we were just doing CAD modeling uh, previously. So now this year is going to be the year that we're going to have a lot more um, physical videos of stuff and announcing stuff and things like that. And so hopefully also uh, with 2021, the plan is also to maybe have one or two products launched. Now, the third year of the plan, which is this is a three-year plan, 2020, 2021, 2022... 2022 is by the end of 2022 have all products released and in market and manufacturing in-house right so 20 2020 is to have 2021 is to have all the um, production prototypes completed and ready to manufacture 2022 all of the pro all the products being manufactured um, launched on the market promoted etc and machined in-house by the end of 2022. So that's the three-year plan. Um, yeah, so let's continue about 2021. So we'll have we'll have way more content uh, talking about these different products and different updates and things like that. Uh, this year, way more than last year, as this is taking way more of a front seat than uh, it was the last uh, tw um, 20, uh, 2020. So uh, speaking of which, so that that's how we're working on them in order: uh, the hot end, uh, the shredder, um, the uh, the filament maker, and then the three D printer. Um, we may mix that around a little bit, and then the reclaimer, and then to re uh, finish the reclaimer and release it. Now, what will happen is because of 
ordering parts and testing and things like that. Sometimes some things will come on hold and then we'll push to the next thing, but that's kind of how the priority list works. So let's say I'm waiting on a part for one of those. I will start, uh, me and Kevin will start working on some of those other ones and then come back when those parts are in or wait till the testing's done and come back, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of how things are going. Um, yeah, so uh, that's how development will work. And uh, we'll see, again, we're getting close to launching stuff, so we can keep some stuff kind of secret. We'll see what we're going to plan on releasing uh, the information, videos, and things like that. But you guys will get some sneak peeks on some of that stuff. So uh, the first one we're working on is the uh, extruder and, uh, sorry, the hot end. And we have um, de we have designed a test stand for it. So the next thing that we're going to do is build the test stand and starting to run some iterative tests on that. So, for example, once we do that and that starts, then that's kind of being tested. So then we would work on the next thing. And then when something comes on that, we'll come back, circle back, and work on that. So that way, because most likely when I meet with Kevin, which is now uh, three days a week, I'm meeting with Kevin. So when we're meeting with Kevin, then uh, that's probably when the CAD thing will happen and the rest of the time is uh, development on my end. Because, again, uh, his mom is high risk. Um, so we don't, we don't want to risk a meeting and possibly... I'm still going to work. He's not. He's taking school online. He's a senior now. He's going to be graduating in May, so we'll also talk about that shortly. Um, so he's not really in high risk of catching it, but I'm in high risk. I go to work every day on during the week, so I could catch it from somebody at work, and they give it to him, and then he gives it to his mom, and his mom's going to have problems. So um, that's one of the things that we're worried about. Uh, so, you know, that's the days that we're meeting. So it's going to be like a three, four, uh, three days, uh, three days CAD and four days working on, uh, the testing, right? And obviously that's after work. So it's going to be kind of slow for most of the days. Um, you know, probably like six to eight or nine. So only about three hours a day, but yeah. Um, yeah, so that's how the that's how the development is going to go. It's going to go in that uh, that direction as, as I'm thinking, and uh, we'll see if we want to risk uh, launching something this year or wait till next year to launch some of the smaller uh, some of the projects that we're the farthest along on. For example, the hot end and uh, the printer. I mean, not the printer, the the shredder. So we're going to be working on those and that kind of uh, dual. Uh, step for uh, we're doing development in CAD, iterating in CAD, uh, iterations and testing uh, um, on hand, right? So next, what's uh, next? So next is uh, Kevin um, with a uh, protege, right? Uh, I don't know if you met him, but he, he's been working with me for a year and a half or something. But he was in one of the videos. Um, so Kevin is graduating in May, so. So it's like three months from now. And obviously he'll probably be looking for a job. He's a senior uh, in electrical engineering. And so when he graduates, he's probably going to be looking for a job. And then this, we'll see, he says that he is interested in still working with me on it. Uh, I would like to bring him along as full-time when we are able to do so with, uh, with some of these products. That's another reason why. Uh, wanted to launch in 2021 is so that we can uh, kind of dedicate more time. Now, I'd really like for by the end of 2021 to be full time in the green engineers, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um, and because I'm doing some of my classes, I'm teaching online classes. Uh, that that would also lower the threshold that it that it needs for me to be full-time in uh, my business and then possibly find somewhere to relocate, find somewhere cheaper to run the business and uh, um, do it full-time. And then when I, when I would move, then that would also lower the threshold, right? So uh, that's with uh, Kevin. So hopefully we can keep him uh, working on the projects and uh, learning things. I'm still teaching him uh, and seeing if he could pick up some of the stuff 
so that he can, you know, get a better job and possibly continue working for me and using that knowledge that I taught him to continue working, uh, working with me on these projects and uh, go further and uh, obviously buff up his resume so eventually if he wants to do his own thing, stay with the Green Engineers for a while or work for another company, he's going to boost his resume anyways. So it's a win-win in pretty much all situations. Um, next is what the big surprise is, I guess. That's kind of what I have last here. Is uh, I'm working on a space to run the business out of. Um, I currently have it. I am doing some modifications to it to uh, start to be, be able to uh, uh, work out of that, uh, that location. So it's going to take quite some time to do that. Uh, at least the next couple months, and uh, um, obviously for you know security reasons, uh, that will probably be um, uh, pretty not very much information on. Well, I'll have to think about it, but for security reasons, the the information is going to be kind of vague. But uh, um, it is coming, and what this will allow me to do is have more equipment. So what we're kind of looking at is getting more equipment to be prepared for that 2022 and even for the end of 2021 to have some equipment to manufacture because what also will happen is that if I have the equipment I'm gonna instead of spending equipment instead of, instead of spending money on other other manufacturers manufacturing our prototypes and iterating I can build the stuff myself and then use that money towards the equipment and then save some money on equipment as well as you know write-offs and things like that as um, you know, as now I'm starting to make more and more of my day job, uh, it now makes sense to actually start the business to have some things uh, be written off because the taxes that I'm paying are way higher than they've ever been when I was a student. Um, there, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of reasons why this is the perfect time to do this. So uh, that will also so I be able to have my own equipment, be able to manufacture there as well as uh, have my own space to uh, prototype and test and do all that stuff, as well as um, it'll save me some time uh, in the commute. So especially when COVID's over, um, it will be, it'll shorten my commute drastically, right? It'll shorten it from like an hour, an hour and 10 pre-COVID down to an hour 10 there, an hour 10 back to work down to 10 minutes uh 10 minutes max there and then 10 minutes max back so quite a while so about two hours of savings per day you know five days a week so that's 10 hours total that i could spend on doing my classes and doing green engineer stuff and testing and things like that um and during covid right now it's like 30 minutes one way 30 minutes the other way so that's, and, and it, right now, pre-COVID, would be about five minutes to get there, and then five minutes back. So that's 10 minutes versus an hour, right? So that's about 50 minutes uh, times 50 is a, times uh, five, so that's, you know, 250 minutes, right? That's a little bit over three uh, three hours. So that will be the, the savings. So I'm working on that. Hopefully I can give you guys the information on that as quickly um, when I can give it. So th that information will be kind of hit and miss. But um, yeah, so super excited on that. Uh, it's definitely going together just how I would like it this year and last year. So um, we're doing good work. We're a little slow right now. We're going to try to pick up the pace because we need to get all these stuff uh, finished and finalized uh, by the end of this year so that would be my ideal and then hopefully some things released so uh, me and Kevin can be full-time uh, green engineers as uh, quickly as possible so that is uh, that is kind of where we are uh, right now and uh, um, what you can be look looking forward to and also of course this is I know a lot of you guys are a big fan big fan of it but this will also include all the other manufacturing equipment for you guys are big uh, fans of the water jet so the space because right now I don't have any space at my current spot to um, do the water jet things and things like that but the space that I'm working on will so that will uh, be able to house that equipment and things like that 
So a lot of things happening. Uh, thank you guys for joining in on the ride. Um, hopefully I will update more often this year with uh, more uh, video and teasers and things like that. So uh, here's to the new year. Uh, happy New Year. Happy um, holidays. And uh, I will see you guys in the next update.